everyone and welcome to another video from Steam Next Fest and by god I hope this one is better than the last one because the last one was possibly one of the worst games I've ever played well, certainly one of the worst experiences I've ever had my god that was frustrating that kebab simulator I just couldn't play it I had to give up I, ha I couldn't do it anyway there's no music which is weird usually I'm talking over some music but there's nothing going on here uh, this is a small taste of what's to come let's just jump straight in shall we and see what's what Please don't let it be like the last one where everything is like physics based. Uh, open the brewery's magazine. Do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of the Brewer's Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and last but not least, jobs. This brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn income whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? Okay. So these are the jobs. Um, a local band wished to mark the release of their first record, a space-themed concept album with a beer as dark as the depths of the universe. Quarterly readers are invited to submit an appropriate dusky brew. The recipe American Stout extract is ideal for this job as it uses the dark malt extract. Uh, or we can do this one, the Sensational Citrus. Um, I think we'll go with this one, the a Pale Ale. I'm, I'm, I'm partial to a Pale Ale in real life. So we're going to go with this one. Okay, here's the recipe. A great recipe to start out with is an extract one of those recipes will show you how to make an American pale ale, a style that you'll likely already know well. It's not too hoppy or high in alcohol, but it's got a great balance of sweetness and hoppiness that is typical from American style hops. Okay. I think it said the batch size needed to be small. Yep, contains the flavor note citrus, IBU 20%. You say 20% or 20 units? It's just 20. Okay. Pin recipe. All right. Looks like we're doing this. Stainless steel pot. Retrieve. So, no, we need a brew container. Oh, yeah, it is a brew container. We're good. Okay. Stick that there. But why won't, okay. So the tap works, but why won't it work with that then? Have I got to take the lid off? Remove lid. Okay, that might be why. We just stop it when it gets to 21 litres. Okay, and the game has got so bored with giving us a water sound that it's just disappeared completely. Show x-ray. Wonder if we can if we do that, would it go faster? No. Jesus Christ, is this how long it's gonna take? Right, okay, we are nearly there. My god, this is taking ages. I hope we don't have to make a bigger batch. I'll try and time this right. Twenty one point one, close enough. Okay. Lid on. Put the lid on, please. Tap is not on, as you can tell, it's not on. Okay, lid on. Can we how do we turn this on? Or do we have to have the lid off for this as well? Set temperature. Here we go. I don't want it to go on full blast. There we go. So how do we know what temperature? Okay, there you go. Oh my god, is this going to take this long as well? Jesus Christ, everybody. This is getting out of hand already. I don't believe how long this game is going to take to do these opening parts. There must be like... Hang on, if I put the lid back on, is that going to make it speed up? In theory, it should, because it keeps the heat in. I mean, this is actual insanity, isn't it? Actual insanity. Can I speed time? Okay. I didn't know you could speed time up. There you go. 
we're going to do is maintain the uh, the heat. Have we actually got it bang on? Oh, look at that. Bang on at 65. Right. We're going to add all of this. How do you do it? Okay. Get that in there. Okay. Next, retrieve seaboard grain and add to brew container. Yep. She's in there. Hold water at around 65 for an hour. How are we looking? Oh, temperatures. Okay, we need to bring the temperature up. Okay, right, that appears to now be holding at pretty much bang on 65. I wasn't paying attention, though, for how long that we've had this cooking for. Did anybody take note of the clock? <laughs> I have no idea how long this has been in here for. I'm just going to have to guess. What do you reckon? Is that about an hour? Yeah, I reckon that's about an hour, isn't it? Remove steepable grain. That there. Heat wart until boiling. Uh, tip wart is the sugary liquid created by adding malt extract to water. Okay, so we've just got to whack this baby up to 100 degrees then, have we? It now can't get any hotter. Retrieve hops from the fridge. Which ones are we using? Twenty of Troa and fifty of the other one. Okay, let's um, twenty of that one, fifty of that one. Oh, wait, no, we don't want that one in there yet. Boil for 50 minutes. So it's 1602. And we go for 10 minutes. Okay. Cool wart to 20 degrees. Use the calendar workshop to skip a day. Where's the calendar? There. Okay. Retrieve a fermentation container from the equipment cupboard. We're making beer, people. Okay. Uh, then pour the water in there. Um, pour into cannot. Oh, hang on, we've got to take, got to take the lid off of that, and then pour into. I just make a mess. You can go there for a sec. The pour what's it? Okay, retrieve the yeast from the fridge freezer. Soak out air. We need a hundred and fifty. Oh, hang on. Hundred and fifty grams. Okay. We have a bin.
Leave to ferment. We put the lid on now. Then use the calendar for 15 days. Wow. I actually kind of like this. It's a little bit more chill. And everything works, unlike the last game. <laughs> I wonder if this beer is actually going to be any good. I have no idea. Okay, so we've done that one. Retrieve other ingredient from ingredients cupboard and add to fermentation, which we need corn sugar. 170 grams of corn sugar. Or into. Oh, shit. Okay. We've, um, I assumed that was going to be one, one bag of it. I didn't realize that was going to be, okay. We've had way too fucking much in there. <laughs> Remember what I said about if this is going to be any good? Yeah, I reckon it, don't reckon it is. Retrieve a tube and conditioning container from the equipment cover, then use the tube to transfer beer to a conditioning container. All right, what are we going to get? One of them. One of them. Dare I say it, do we have to use gravity to achieve this? Is that got all of it? Don't know. Uh, I mean, it's fucking close enough, isn't it? Okay. Okay, right. 21 days. All right. Taste and package your beer. Take it to the tasting room. Adding water. How many, how much did we need? How much is in here actually? I don't know how much is in there. 16 liters. Is that not enough? They said the IB, what did they say the IBU? Had to be 20 or something. Yeah, let's try that. Taste the beer. Okay, we've tried it. Is it any good? Two point seven batch size, clarity hazy. Is that good? Been cleaned. Uh, Multi is sweet. I don't know what any of this means. Five point six alcohol percentage. Quite, it's quite bitter. Full of body. Final gravity one point one contamination. Beer style. It's. They've likened it mostly to an American IPA. I think that's what that means. Beer name. Oh. The Welch IPA. We're calling it an American IPA. The bottle is going to be the, yeah, we'll go Belgian tasting glass. What sort of, what do we think? The Holy Grail from the uh, last crusade? That's got to be a jug, isn't it? It's got to be a jug. It's got to be a jug. Label maker. Oh, wow, we could even label template. Oh, that's... That, okay, that's a bit of me. This game's won me over just because you can edit the label like this. Look at the amount of... I was about to say, look at the amount of editing you can do, but, <laughs> but none of those things actually changed anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's really cool. I 
I'm, like, I'm just going to go with that. I can't, I'm not going to mess around with it too much, but that's really cool. Beer tokens can be used to purchase items in the catalog. You can earn beer tokens from jobs, competitions, reaching martial level and increasing your reputation. Okay. I'll be at least 20. That was the one we went for. Submit the beer. Job complete. Okay. We got ourselves to a home brewer level. We've got some beer tokens. Okay. And there we go. That appears to be it. I know. I mean, to be fair, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it's it's one of those games where you would literally, if you just got nothing else to play, you just want to chill. And that game would would definitely fill the void. I mean, I'd be intrigued to see. I mean, it's called Beer Brewing Simulator. I don't know if the, the whole premise is all about home brewing. I suspect it probably is. But if there was an opportunity to sort of scale up your operation to sort of make things on a much larger scale, that could be quite cool. And um, whether you can automate some of that process, because. As much as that manual process is quite fun, it might get a bit tedious if you're just doing that time after time after time again. You might there might need to be some automation in there. But yeah, not not bad at all. So it's certainly not fucking better than the kebab simulator that we played last time out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. We will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you again soon.